Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of, uh, what are we even doing? Oh wait, it's super symmetry, yeah. Today we're gonna upgrade the drill. Now the drill can be upgraded with an HV, H, no, that is not, that is not even here. HV, give me, no, not GV, HV, HV, yes. So you see there's this iron drill that says HV, yeah. Looks nice. Now that probably is, it, 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 not that bad. Actually, just easy. Wait, energy M crystal? Ugh. <laughs> How do you make that? Oh my, you can't even make it? Basically, lithium ion's the best. But then you got cadmium. And if you really want to be cheap, sodium. We are cheap, and we managed to get sodium, which is still really expensive. But not to the degree that uh, the other stuff is. Now, as far as uh, polyethylene goes, polytetrafluoroethylene, we have one more piece of polytetrafluoroethylene today than we did yesterday. It's, it's exciting. So, components. We gotta go upstairs, grab stainless steel. The power unit costs two gears, two plates. So that's pretty cheap. It's just like six things right there. One, two, one, two. We gotta shove these guys through the machine. Wait, no. Take out those other two. There we go. <laughs> those, those go to this guy. One, two, one, two. Nice. And the screw is made by bolts, and the bolts are made by this saw. Well, actually, you could just do it in the cutting saw. So run a stainless steel ingot through the lathe. Now you run the stainless steel rod through the sawmill. Stainless steel bolts through the lathe. It's a lathe, sawmill, lathe process, and that uh, takes no time at all. And then we're done. We're literally done. That is completed. Nice. And that, I think you can actually just take this. If we just take this out of here, we can just take this and apply it to our tool right now. Probably. Maybe. No. Well, goodbye, low voltage drill. We don't need you anymore. We're gonna go make some fancy metal alloys today. I've been saying we would do this for a while, but no. We have not gotten to it. So, as far as metal alloys go, there are quite a few that you would think, what the heck is this? How do you even get this? And some of these, I don't know how to get. Anyway, the tool alloys go like vanadium uh, steel, then there's uh, blue steel, and then there's red steel, there's also ultimate, which is cobalt and molybdenum and stuff. These guys we don't actually have access to, except for the um, vanadium steel. We could probably do this. This one is actually not that bad. A vanadium steel dust, and then you can get the chrome, vanadium. And they just steal dust, but the uh, vanadium itself is probably difficult to get. You need it from a reaction furnace. And high purity calcium, which, uh... <laughs> I don't think we're able to do that right now. So yeah, a lot of the big alloys we can't really do, although we could do cobalt brass. Cobalt brass can be made into tools, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and check the plate, actually. The plate tells you if it can be made into tools. It literally tells you. Uh, cobalt brass plate can be made into tools. Nice. Can be made into drill bits. It can. But what's the point in making this into a drill bit? What does this give you? Probably absolutely nothing. Oh, it gives you like a lot of durability. So it needs one cobalt, one aluminum, and uh, seven brass. We can do that. That's no problem. We already have the cobalt and aluminum dust done. We just gotta make the brass dust. I should probably get on that right now. Instead of going to go grab the aluminum, or the cobalt. We already have the Aluminum's done here. Like, we, we have it right now. It was in the box. <laughs> we have aluminum dust in here. Look. Three pieces. Wonder where that came from. <laughs> what mistake did I do to get that? Oh my, but let's let's take some of this uh, wonderful... Wonderful. Where is it? Ah, uh, there it is. Cobalt dust. Now, the other type of material we can make is this blue steel. It will cost brass, rose gold, black steel, which is pretty easy too, and also steel dust. Now, I was quite surprised that we could actually make such a material as it is, uh, I mean, it looks expensive. And then we gotta mix them up. Nice. So this is going to mix up our wonderful materials. It's going to take a, a while, apparently. 45 seconds. Okay. Well, while we're waiting on that, we'll go make the other thing, which is the blue steel stuff. It requires black steel, basically. Which requires black bronze. Uh, what? So much stuff we have to make. That is a lot of stuff. Electrum and copper. Okay. 
All right, a wonderful bronze material. Our f funny brass is done. It's the funny brass. <laughs> We've made strange cobalt brass, which I don't know if that's used in the production of anything really. It might be. Let's check. Actually, now that you think about it, now that I think about it, it actually might be used for something. You can centrifuge it. That's a waste. That is a waste. But arc furnace recycling gives you the. Um, Cobalt brass ingot. You could just smelt it. Literally could just smelt it. We're just gonna run that through the furnace, and we're gonna macerate some of that. Alright, so now that our electrum and wonderful other substance are done, we can go ahead and process these. Oh, copper. Through the mixer on the first setting, I think. I don't know. I don't know at all. I don't know anything. Just, just run it through that. That'll take 25 seconds, but uh, once we get this done, this is gonna be nice. So black bronze dust is used for mixing into black steel, with nickel and steel dust. Now black bronze can actually be made into ingots and used in item pipes, but that's pretty much it as far as it's concerned, and it's a very late game item as you have to make it in a um, quencher, which we don't have a quencher, we need to look into getting one. These guys are incredibly important from what I understand. Look at this, very important. And we're gonna put one of these black bronze dust onto this, so we can just... This is gonna be the trophy room, I guess. Now, later on, we'll probably turn that into an ingot, but we also have this cobalt brass ingot, which can go in here. Which, I think it should go first, probably, if we were to do this like a trophy room. So, first that... And probably also we're gonna move these all onto the same layer. That would probably look nicer than having them all just a gigantic row. Where's my black bronze? Give me, give me one piece of that. Okay. We'll turn that into an ingot someday. I hope. Alright, now that we got this new one done, we're gonna go ahead and mix everything up. It's it's basically macerate something, and then mix it in the mixer, and then you get a new powder. Uh, in this case, it's black steel, which is actually used for some things. We'll go ahead and look at that in a second, after we get this mixing up. Where's the steel? There it is, okay. So, let's look at this. So, black bronze, mixer, black steel. Now, you can blast this immediately straight into ingots. At medium voltage. You don't need anything else. You could do it with uh, nitrogen or... Yeah, I think just nitrogen. And it gives you it gives you a faster, but uh, I don't care about that. Now, this is used in blue and red steel, so that's why you want this. We also need to do brass, and then some other alloys. Yeah, so we're just gonna need four of those. Steel, and then two brass ingots. Okay, so for this next part, we're going to need four gold and two... I think it's two. Oh, and I don't know if the ratio on this is right, but I think it's like, we're gonna need eight gold and two copper, basically. Okay, so our black steel dust is done mixing, I think. We should go check upstairs, just real quick. We have 15 left. <laughs> nice. Well, I guess we can hold on to that in case we want to do this in the future. And that did give us 20 of the black steel. Now, we're gonna process the rest of these through the blast furnace since we don't... Well, actually, we could just do one. Then hold on to the rest. <laughs> well, we don't have the stuff to make them more. I was expecting to get less yield from this, but hey, that's, that's nice. I should have checked. So I guess we run these 12 through this guy, and that should be fine. Alright, so copper and gold make rose gold if you mix them together on setting number three. Really? What? What? This is not working low voltage. It needs medium voltage. Ha! Huh. Well, that's, uh, wait, it needs five gold. Oh no, it just makes five rose gold. Okay, well, we know, we know where there's a mixer that's medium voltage, it's over in the one place. Alright, that's doing the job, and it takes, like, how many seconds? It takes, like, 25 for each one. Which is a, a bit, quite a bit. We lost this connect piece. Alright, that should do it. We got 10 of these, which I don't know if we're gonna need 10 of these. I, I mean, I hope we, we can have extra. Oh, we will, we will definitely have extra. Okay, so we run this, plus... Uh, What's this guy doing? Is he, is he running out of power or something? Or does it just take a long time? It takes 77 seconds for each one? Holy crap. So this requires rose gold, black steel dust, steel dust, and, uh... Some other dust, probably. Brass dust. Is that it? I think that's it. Yes, that's it. It just, and then it just requires first setting. Nice. And that will take... 40 seconds. So basically, one eternity. Let's go hang these black steel ingots on the wall. Let's go check and see if we got any more polytetrafluoroethylene. We have two pieces of polytetrafluoroethylene. Holy crap. Celebrate, fellas. 
We're doing good. But I think we need more sim gas to be sent over to the pressure swing absorber. So to fix that problem, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we're going to do some magic here. We're going to take all this charcoal, turn that back up, put the charcoal back in, and celebrate. Because we've done it. And that is going to make sim gas and send it up to the plant. All right, so let's go check on the new black steel we just made. This, no, this is blue steel. This stuff is quite amazing, extraordinary. To make it into ingots, it costs us uh, cooper nickel coils, but high voltage power. So it, it's not too bad. It's just we need to use one of these guys, preferably this guy or the one down below. Him. But down, the guy put down below does not get enough energy for some reason, but this guy does. This guy gets enough energy perfectly. Oh, no, this guy does. He does not even have an item input on him. That allows us to do this. <laughs> Warning, machine needs more energy. What? It's got two MV hatches on it. Does it not have enough energy? Okay, the first piece is out. And that took a very long time because I had to just click the button. <laughs> over and over again. It's literally a clicker game. But anyway. Do we have any more polytetrafluoride? We do. And also, this battery buffer. What, what am I going to do to it? Well... I am going to go ahead and steal this guy. Don't ask why. We're going to go ahead and disconnect this. From there. We're going to do a bit of uh, magic. Right? So we're going to just switch the entire setup so it just uh, works. It, it just works. Give me the... Give me the battery buffer. I need the battery buffer. That is what I need, not the rest of the stuff. Alright, so now if I shove all of this into here... It should just work. Machine needs more energy. What? It's got enough energy. It's got like 16 amps of medium voltage right now. It does not have enough energy. What? Wait a second. Because that guy is not even connected, is it? No, it should be connected. Now it's got enough energy. It takes a lot of energy to run these guys. It takes two medium voltage battery buffers on eight times to actually get this guy to run. He needs 16 medium voltage amps to run this? Now this rose gold stuff, this stuff can also be made into ingots and can be used in tools. It's significantly cheaper, uh, but it does still cost... Y you have to run this through a medium voltage blast furnace. But it should take like 5 seconds in the high voltage one. <laughs> Especially now that we got enough the extra extreme amounts of power. We have insane m amounts of power here. Well, except these battery buffers are running out very quickly. And also, this guy is probably, probably really wanting that energy from that battery buffer right now. So he can actually do his job making fluorinated stuff. And we got a piece of rose gold, too. But the the rest of this rose gold needs to be processed in one of the guys that actually runs when he doesn't have two battery buffers. Because it's... Uh, doing it the other way is insane. Yeah, it, it, it just does not work. <laughs> it is not very good. Now, time for another part of today's episode that you all have probably been waiting for, where we're finally going to put together the drill using the blue steel. Now, this drill is going to be high voltage, and it's going to replace this old stainless steel drill. Which I've only ever had to replace... I don't even think I've had to replace the tip on it. So, we'll see how good this this um, blue steel is. And if it's any good, I'll, you all should probably make it then, I don't know. Maybe it's, this, is, this is my experimentation. There's also red steel, but we cannot afford that. It's, it's expensive. It costs stuff that I don't have. But I could totally get. <laughs> how is it expensive if I could totally get this stuff? Alright, we're gonna just run that. Whoa. Okay. And this is the collection of very strange ingots we've created. We have, right here, we have rose gold, blue steel, black steel, black bronze, and cobalt brass. This guy, we need a quencher for to make an actual ingot, so. And also, we need better energy. <laughs> but now it's time to make the blue steel drill bit. So, for these drills, they come in many varieties. Blue steel, and you can make a drill tip from it, it looks like. Yes, and it's just like this, just like the regular ones. Cost four steel. Now, this did not go on. I will not put him on that. Put on this guy. We will put him. We will. What? I did all this work for. For what? Oh wait. Where am I? Stupid. We gotta put it in here first. Uh, we gotta put it in there with wrench, hammer, hammer wrench, screwdriver. <laughs> what? Wait, how does this work? Oh. Oh, okay. Like that. Nice. 
That's a blue steel drill for HV. <laughs> 5,120 durability. That's better than the other one, which is like 3,000 durability or something. But I can't charge it there. I have to charge it at the this place? <laughs> it's gonna take eight years. No, actually, it's, it's only gonna take seven seconds, probably. But it's also probably eating all of our energy. Uh, let's... Oh, no. This guy isn't doing too good on energy production. The maintenance is fine. Alright, that's good, that's good. Let's go ahead and see if our stuff is done. Alright, so here's the HV Drew with a blue steel tip. We're gonna take it over... Not there. Oh, wait. Oh, what the heck is this? You can do a 5x5? Five five? <laughs> I think that's an HV motor thing. Let's go to the anthracite vein. Oh, wait. Do we have any torches now? Okay, so as far as features go, this drill can do five layers, five rows, and five columns. Now, you can configure this by hitting shift right click, it opens this menu. You can do three, you can do one, you could probably do more than that now. But it's insane that you can do a five by five in just one hit. And it basically means you could mine an entire chunk in like five seconds. How much damage does it do? Probably is not meant for damage, but eh. Okay, so as far as mining speed goes, this is able to mine fairly quickly, I would assume. Yep, just the same as regular, though. It's not that fast. It's not that much faster. It's kind of hard to aim with it, because you look at this block, and it mines all the blocks up. Whereas, you would expect it to be more like, this block mines all the blocks beneath it, but no, nah, it's weird. It, it, it's weird. It's hard to use. Let's try the uh, layers mode, because I've never actually used that. It basically does what it says it does, so that's, that's great. You could just mine entire veins in like two seconds. But the thing is that it uses doesn't actually use that much charge either. Dang, you could just mine like forever with this. <laughs> and the blue steel has a very high durability. And that took me like one minute to do. <laughs> oh, thank, you, uh, thank you all for watching. See you all next time.